Hello everyone, this is Anjali Tyagi and today I am going to explain you the second chapter of Vistas book of class 12. First of all, let's know about the writer. The author of this chapter is Rama Swami Ayyar Krishnamurti, whose pen name is Kalki. He was born on 9 September 1899. He was an Indian writer, journalist, poet, critic and Indian independence activist. He wrote over 120 short stories, 10 novelists, 5 novels, 3 historical romances, editorials, etc. He was a famous humorist of his time. He wrote about the contemporary matters. He used satire in his writing. Satire means when we say a typical or serious matter in a very comical or funny way. So the theme of the chapter is death is inevitable. It means no one can escape himself or herself from death. Second, man in power becomes ruthless towards wildlife. It means when a man gets power, he becomes a bit cruel to the wildlife, as it is shown in this chapter. The story is written at the time of Britishers when the Indian kings ruled there, but under these Britishers. And tiger hunting was very popular at that time. Kings adorned their palaces with the skin of tigers whom they hunt. The story starts with the introduction of the Maharaja of Pratibandhapuram. He is the hero of the story. He is called by the names as His Highness, Jamedar, General Khiledar, Mezar, Satavyagraha, Samhari, Maharaja Dhiraj, Viswabhuvna, Samrat, Sir Jilani Jang Jang Bahadur, MAT, ACTC or CRCK. He is known by his name but he can be called as Jilani Jang Jang Bahadur and in short form he is called the Tiger King. The narrator says that he comes forward to tell us why the king is called the Tiger King. The author does not have any intention to tell the story first and at last deny to do that. He tells that if Stuka bomber, Stuka bomber, German aircrafts which were very popular because their aim was very accurate. So the author says that even Stuka bomber's terror can no turn him from his track of telling a story. Stuka bomber can turn back but he will continue his story. It is important to tell you a thing about the Tiger King that everyone who reads about him wants to meet him face to face who was not defeated by anyone here the writer used the word indomitable indomitable means a person who cannot be defeated he tells the way of the end of the tiger king is extraordinary which can be seen at the end of the story as soon as the tiger king born the stronzers predicted that one day he has to die. The child would become the warrior of warriors, hero of heroes and champion of champions. But the stolzer bit his lips because he feels hesitated to announce more. But when he is compelled, he tells that there is a secret in his death which cannot be told to everyone. But when he is forced, he tells that the child is born in the stars that he has to die one day. At the same moment, one miracle took place that some words come out from the mouth of barely a 10 days old boy. The words are, O oh, wise prophets, everyone remains stunned, still or shocked. When the child again repeats his word, O oh, wise prophets, it's I who spoke. This time, it is confirmed that definitely the words have been told by this 10 days old boy. The chief astrologer puts his finger on his nose to think that a baby barely 10 days old can speak not only few words, but it raises sensible questions. Incredible, it is. Remarkable, unbelievable. Here the author used bulletin to compare the ability of child to speak. 
it is more than the fact the chief astrologer took off his finger from nose and looks at the child the prince is born in the hours of bull and bull and the tigers are enemies that's why he will be killed by a tiger the author says that readers may think that the crown prince will be afraid but as soon as he listens the word the tiger he gives a deep growl some terrifying words come out from his mouth he says let's tiger beware the incident is spread everywhere like a rumor and this be the first part of the chapter ends